responsible for this great product, Orth Hedrick. All right, Orth? Thank you, Michael. Thank you. If we look back about four years ago, Michael mentioned our latest product update cycle started uh, with design is our, our key metric. And uh, it, 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 uh, we saw an interesting trend because it happened right in the middle of this great recession. And uh, for us, when we introduced the Sorento, the first thing was one of our first vehicles that we had over 30,000. And we noticed this really interesting trend. A lot of folks that were coming in from high-end vehicles because of the recession, it really made them rethink major purchases like um, a durable good, like a house or a car, and even uh, the idea of McMansion shrinking down to uh, something that's more reasonable. Uh, and we also saw it with the follow-up introduction of the Optima, which same thing, we saw a very rich mix of buyers coming in from uh, upper level market vehicles into, into our space. So that kind of gave us this, this impetus and momentum to follow up on this and to kind of really consider bringing this, mar this car to the U.S. market. Um, it was further influenced and, and uh, uh, undermined, underscored, with the introduction of the Cadenza, which uh, did phenomenally well. We did that about last year, and I think many of you were with us uh, on that reveal. Um, and the arc of our move up market uh, culminates with the introduction of K900, which for us is uh, our most premium uh, vehicle in the Kia lineup. And um, as Michael mentioned, it's the idea is not just about uh, serving this market, but it's really to change the perception of Kia brand in the U.S. market. And uh, it's happened so quickly over four and a half years, we think that this vehicle is really going to shock the market. Uh, it's a, a very competent, uh, we're very, we're very uh, uh, confident about the vehicle and we think that it's going to uh, really change the, change the way the market looks at it.